In this video, I will try to give you an overview of the views and functionalities provided by the group calendar for MSCRM 2011. The calendar itself can be accessed via a new group calendar button in the CRAM menu. The default view and user group can be predefined on each client. So in our case, this is the day view and we only see activities of Christian Turnick. At the top, we can switch between the day, the week and the month view showing up all activities of this user within the certain period of time. As the name of the product states, it is possible to show activities of multiple users simultaneously. So how can this be achieved? In the right menu we can see a new option called Select Users. A new dialog appears that allows us to choose the users we want to see the activities from. So in our case we choose three of them. And once this is done, we can see that the view gets updated and now all activities of these three records are shown. Important information of each activity is shown in a tooltip, like the activity type, location, time and so on. When taking a look at the week view or the day view, we can see that the list might get quite complex to overview due to the enormous amount of activities shown for multiple users. So how to achieve a compact overview? The first thing we did was to invent some new views, like the top-down view. Basically, this is a daily view where all activities are shown separated by user and each user has his own column of activities. One thing we did to further improve the benefits of using this view is to provide a rescheduling option. So as you can see, we can just grab the activity and reschedule or even change the duration directly within this view. Next to this, uh, you can see that the appointments are colored. This is another enhancement that has been implemented to keep a compact overview. So uh, when we click on an appointment, it is possible to choose the, the color in which it should appear within a top-down view a new list box. Next to this, another view, the so-called Gantt view, is provided for the day, the week and the month view. It can be accessed by a new button in the top menu. Once clicked, we can see some kind of table where each row stands for a specific user and the columns specify the, the period of time. So in our case, this is the day starting from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and so on. As for the top-down view, uh, the view is provided with the rescheduling option. So we can just grab the activity and even change the user this activity is referring to. As mentioned before, this view is available for the week and the month view too. So when we switch to the week view for example, we can see that now each column refers to a specific day of the week and when switching to the month view that each even smaller column now refers to the specific day of the month. Still, all important information is shown within the tooltip of each activity. Next to this, we can see that the color coding we discussed in the top-down view section also takes effect in the Gantt view. The activities that should be displayed can be chosen in the right menu. So what I will do is add a phone call and the view gets updated. And what we see now is that there is a conflict, a time conflict between two activities for the second user, which in our case is Christian Turnick. So I will open this record only. And once expanding the activities, we can see that the phone call is starting before the developer meeting ends. So um, by the means discussed before, it is now quite simple to um, get rid of those conflicts by just grabbing the activity and rescheduling them. So that's the basics you need to know about the views provided within the group calendar for Serum 2011. Another quite useful thing is the print option, including a print preview. So what I will do now is just choose a team, which is the all team, including five users, and select the list view. And with the new button at the bottom right corner, called Print Preview, we can see that the new page gets generated that shows all activities separated by day. So we can proceed printing, or even switch to the month view, and again, a new button is appearing at the bottom right corner, bringing up a new page that shows all activities of the month.